Many people think that the reasons for their fatigue, headaches, sleep problems, or memory problems are due exclusively to physical illnesses and diseases. However, in recent years, scientists have found that negativity affects more than the emotional state, and thoughts and emotions manifest a widespread influence on many bodily processes, including metabolism, hormone production, and immune function. Furthermore, negativity can lead to symptoms for which a treating physician cannot find medical causes and to following a treatment that has absolutely nothing to do with the actual state of health. For example, in a study of over 25,000 patients at 15 primary care centers in 14 countries on five continents, researchers found that 50% of all depressed patients worldwide report multiple unexplained physical symptoms, including headache, constipation, weakness, or back pain. When you think negative or critical thoughts, your body is more likely to become stressed. And when you become stressed, your body responds by producing a hormone called cortisol, which regulates a wide range of vital processes throughout the body. Cortisol is a glucocorticoid hormone produced by the adrenal glands, and optimum cortisol levels are necessary for life and for maintaining several bodily functions. Because almost all tissues in your body have glucocorticoid receptors, cortisol can affect nearly every organ system in your body, including the nervous, immune, cardiovascular, respiratory, and reproductive systems. Your body has an elaborate system to regulate cortisol levels, and the body's stress response system is usually self-limiting. After a stressful situation has passed, your cortisol and other hormone levels return to normal. If, on the other hand, you are under constant stress, you will consistently have high cortisol levels, which puts you at increased risk of many health problems, including severe fatigue, headaches, irritability, anxiety or depression, intestinal problems such as constipation, bloating, or diarrhea, muscle weakness, high blood pressure, and weight gain. Negative thoughts and behaviors, such as cynicism, hostility, and depression, have also been linked to other serious health problems, such as heart attack, type 2 diabetes, and a greater chance of disability in life. Moreover, according to a study published in 2014, people with high levels of cynical distrust, the belief that others are mainly motivated by selfish concerns, may be more likely to develop dementia than people with low levels of cynicism. Like many things in life, negative thoughts and emotions can become a habit. As I mentioned in the video about how far your thoughts and feelings are spreading, every minute of every day, your body is physically reacting, literally changing, in response to the internal and external stimuli, and that includes your thoughts and emotions. Your brain is constantly creating new neural pathways and altering existing ones in order to adapt to new experiences, learn new information, and create new memories. Every time you have the same thought, whether it's a positive or negative thought, or you act in the same way, the firing of neurons is going to be the same and reinforced. Picture that you're exploring a virgin forest and you start bushwhacking through the forest, creating a new, faint tracked path where there was none before. If you keep going back and forth on the same path over and over again, deepening your footstep treads into the ground, you would be strengthening the appearance and also the ease of access to that pathway. In about the same way, your brain creates neural pathways for every experience, thought, or emotion you have in your lifetime. If you do a lot of negative thinking, not only that you wire your brain to produce more negative thoughts, but you also train your brain to get good at seeing things to think negatively about. According to a study published in 2020, repetitive negative thinking diminishes your brain's ability to think, reason, and form memories, and triggers a physical stress response in the brain which over a prolonged period of time may cause damage and reduce the brain's resilience to Alzheimer's disease. Repetitive negative thinking is a common behavior in people suffering from depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and sleep disorders, which are themselves associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's. However, repetitive negative thinking can occur without you even being consciously aware of it, and in the next video, I'll present a simple exercise that will help you clear your mind of negative thoughts. So, if you haven't done it already, make sure you subscribe and tap the notification bell. As always, thanks for watching.